welcome back to my very own reading corner so guys today i'm going to be reading a book to you guys called the energy that warms us a look at heat so let's head on so before we start um reading the book of course you can pause the video if you guys want to know um the table of contents and like what we will um read about in this book chapter one what is heat have you felt the warmth of a sunny summer day or a mug of hot chocolate that warmth is heat. Heat is a form of energy. We use heat all the time. Heat is used to cook food. Heat makes a shower or bath warm. So as you can see, the, um, heat was used to bake this bread in the picture. Heat is also used to make and shape things. Like molten gold is poured into a mold to create a gold bar. Chapter 2. How Heat is Made the sun provides heat for all living things. Its energy heats earth. Heat also comes from inside earth. Hot, melted rocks are deep under the ground. Their heat warms rocks and water on the planet. Steam rises from this hot spring at Yellowstone National Park. Hot springs are pools of water heated by earth. So that's like how a volcano works. There is um, a hot melted rock underground and then sometimes it just bursts out. Friction is a force created when two things rub together. Friction also makes heat because if you try to rub your hands, you, you'll see that it makes heat. And also why people, when their hands are cold, they try to do that. They rub their hands together. So you guys can see a girl named Heather rubs her hands together to stay warm. Fire makes heat. People use heat from fire to cook their food. Sometimes they make fires to stay warm outside in cold weather. A family uses the heat from a campfire to roast marshmallows. Our bodies turn the food we eat into energy. Some of that energy is turned into heat. Derek here uses his energy to play soccer. He gets very warm when he plays, like he gets sweaty because that energy is turned into heat. How Heat Moves Chapter 3 Heat moves in three ways. Heat travels in liquids and gases by convection. Convection often makes the air cooler and windier near the ocean. Convection carries heat through a pot of water on the stove. So you guys can see the first part is the uh, stove warms the water near the bottom. Then second, the warm water rises and cools. Third, cool water near the top sinks. Then the cooler water is warmed and it rises again. So that's how it um, that's how the water gets warm because the warm water rises up and then the cool water rises down and then it keeps going in the cycle until it's all warmed up. Water keeps moving around in a pot as shown above until all the water is equally warm. Convection also moves heat through gases in the air. So you guys can see the, sun's, the sun heats the ground. Um, the warm air rises and cools from the ground. And then sinking air is warmed again and pulled into the rising air. And higher, cooler air flows down. So earth warms air near the ground. Heat from the buildings does too. So heat rises from uh, he also rises from inside the earth. Conduction carries heat between objects that are touching. So as you can see, this spoon in the picture will become hot after sitting in a bowl of hot soup for a few minutes. Like uh, maybe if you like touch something hot then your finger or like your hand might become hot if you like touch something hot. Metal is a good conductor of heat. Heat travels through metal quickly. Wood is not a very good conductor. Heat takes long to travel through wood. So as you guys can see, this wooden board keeps the metal pan's heat from burning the tablecloth. Heat travels through space by radiation. The heat moves in rays we cannot see. Planets closer to the sun get more of its heat than faraway planets do. Chapter 4. How heat is measured. The amount of heat in an object is its temperature. 
Cold objects have low temperature. Hot objects have high temperature. So snow cones have low temperatures. They can cool you off on a hot day. A thermometer is a tool that measures temperature. Temperature is usually measured in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. We use thermometers to measure the air outside. We use thermometers to measure the temperature of food too. So we know that meat is cooked when it reaches a certain temperature. We also use a thermometer to measure our body temperature. So when you're sick, maybe your parents will put a thermometer so they can see um, what your temperature is to know if you're actually sick or if you have a fever or um, if you're just not feeling well. Chapter five, balancing hot and cold. Living things need to stay warm. Clothing and blankets keep the heat of our bodies from escaping into the air. People wear thick clothing when it is cold. Birds depend on their feathers to keep warm. Mammals have hair or fur. It can be dangerous if living things get too hot. But people and animals have ways to keep their bodies the right temperature. Some animals have much thinner coats of fur during warmer months. As you guys can see in the picture, this dog takes short, quick breaths to cool off when it is hot. People wear thin, loose clothing in hot weather. Then air can move heat, the heat away from our bodies. So light colored clothing stays cooler in sunlight than dark clothing does. People also have ways to control the temperature indoors. An air conditioner takes heat out of the air. That makes the air cooler. A furnace heats the air and insulation acts like a blanket for walls and roofs. It keeps hot or cold air in and the outside air out. This man, as you guys can see in the picture, puts insulation on the walls and ceiling of a home. So, how do you stay warm or cool enough? You guys, um, you guys can give like a uh, one answer to each, like how do you stay warm and how do you stay cool? And so you guys can pause the video if you guys wanna do this activity right here. So just pause the video and read the instructions. And here's the glossary for any words you might not have understood the definition and you can just always pause the video to take a quick look at the definition. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And of course guys, I have one question for you guys, which is how do you stay hot or cold um, um, no matter what? How do you, how do you, what are some examples of ways that you keep hot or cold in different temperatures? So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in another awesome video. Bye guys!